This is Zagaturdy 2744 here today to show you guys how to jailbreak iOS 6 Beta 1 devices. Now this will only work for the iPod Touch 4th generation, the iPhone 3GS, the iPhone 4 GSM, and CDMA models. No A5 devices are supported, only the ones that I just named. Now you will need two things, your IPSW file for iOS 6 Beta 1, and you will also need Red Snow, and you will already have the IPSW file if you already have iOS 6 Beta 1 on your device. Uh, do keep in mind that this is not a Cydia jailbreak, so once you jailbreak it, you do not have access to Cydia yet. For the betas, they only have SSH jailbreaks, which will allow you to do things like transfer tweaks over to your device through SSH. But if you don't know what SSH is and you don't know how to use SSH, do not do this jailbreak. Wait for an official jailbreak to come out when iOS 6 is released later on this fall. So what you're going to need is uh, the Red Snow jailbreak or the Red Snow 0.9.13 beta 2 developers jailbreak here and you're also going to need your IPSW file for uh, the iOS 6 beta 1 download. All you have to do is go on over to my website iOSnova.com and you're going to go to the jailbreak tab and you're going to go down to Red Snow or you can go on over to iOSnova.com slash jailbreak slash Red Snow and I will have downloads for Mac and Windows available on the website. You'll need to download 0.9.13 beta 2 or earlier if any new ones come out it will also work with that uh, but for now it's 0.9.13 beta 2. Now you have to know if you are doing this on a Windows computer you will have to right click on the application and run as administrated. Once you click on these to download them it's going to open up this page. Go ahead and click here to download the uh, jailbreak. So we're going to go ahead and open up the application itself. We're going to go ahead and go to extras and as I recommend before you do any jailbreak make sure you plug in your device obviously and back up and sync your device so you don't lose any of that content on your device just in case. Uh, what you're going to need to do is go here and select your IPSW file which you can find wherever you saved and here's my red snow or my IPSW file I apologize. We're going to go ahead and click open and it says successfully identified click OK and back here we go to back and we're going to click jailbreak and it'll go ahead and go ahead through and jailbreak as simple as that that's going to go through some of the more simple processes of the red snow jailbreak it happens with every jailbreak you'll see your device do some things let your device alone best things best to just lay it down and let it be uh, and it'll go through and once it's done you'll need to have the two things checked install SSH obviously because Cydia will not be supported like I said if you don't know what SSH is please do not use this jailbreak and this is optional to enable battery percentage you do not need the middle one uh, checked in unless you want it checked in and you probably want to know what that is before you check it uh, and here we're going to go ahead and click next now it tells you to put your device into DFU mode. DFU mode is pretty simple. Hold the home button and the power button here like this. And you wait a while until your device shuts off. And then you go ahead and release the power button holding on to the home button here. And we're going to go ahead and click next and as you can see on screen it is exploiting lime rain and so on. Like I said, these are regular red snow processes that you just need to let your device do. Don't do anything. Don't unplug it or anything like that. Uh, again, this jailbreak does not have City on it. It's only for more advanced jailbreak users, for say. If you are one who uses SSH, I use it occasionally. Uh, but this is more so for showing you guys how to do it for those of you guys who really like to use SSH. Cydia uh, is always easier to do. So this is a tethered jailbreak, keep in mind. We're going to go ahead and click OK once that message pops up. We're going to let it go through all of its files and processes here. As you can see, this is completely normal. Nothing is wrong with your device. If you do screw up during putting your device into DFU mode, note it's not the end of the world. Something might be wrong. It might call for a restore on your device with iTunes. Uh, but that's worst case scenario. Usually you can just go back and put it back into DFU mode in the proper way. So we're going to let it finish here. And then we're going to have to put it in the DFU mode again pretty soon. So, like I said, these are regular red snow processes. Bum -ba -dum, pineapple. I don't know when iOS 6 
uh, downloads will be out once iOS 6 is officially released this fall. Again, I don't know that jailbreakers usually don't announce that until uh, they're very close to releasing the official jailbreak. And they have announced that it is getting harder and harder for them to actually find exploits for the jailbreaks uh, because Apple continues to patch them. So I think they'll be able to find a way, though, once iOS 6 is officially released. Uh, but right now, these are beta jailbreaks. As I said, nothing's going to change here because there isn't any Cydia icon that's going to show up. Uh, now what you need to do is you need to go ahead and exit out of Red Snow on your computer, reopen Red Snow if you're on Windows, again right click and run as administrated. Uh, you go to extras here and before you click just boot, you will have to do this by the way, you need to put it into DFU mode again, uh, again power and home, hold it until your device screen shuts off, wait a few seconds and then just hold home and we're going to click just boot it's identifying the device dun, dun, dun. iPod touch fourth generation which is currently what I'm using this is one of the uh, supported devices if you do not have a supported device you're gonna have to wait because the A5 device jailbreaks for the beta are not out yet. Again, this is not a user-friendly uh, jailbreak here. This is for more advanced jailbreakers. If you don't know how to use SSH, don't do this. Uh, I can't really explain it in this video. It's kind of a simple program to use, but if you really haven't gotten into it, you're not going to have any clue what I'm talking about. So, uh, like I said, this is for SSH syncing. You can sync tweaks and stuff through there. Uh, and it's just going to go ahead and just boot my device. And once it's done just booting with the Red Snow application, you're going to have a fully tethered iOS 5 or iOS 6 beta 1 uh, jailbreak available. Like I said, not the user-friendly jailbreak that you're hoping for, like untethered or something. This is tethered, meaning you have to, basically anytime your device shuts off or something like that, or reboots, uh, you're going to have to reboot it with the Red Snow application on your computer uh, to get to the screen. Again, there is no change here. There's no city icon whatsoever. It's used with SSH. I want to go ahead and thank you guys for watching. This is iGuitarD2744. Go ahead and subscribe by hitting that subscription button above for more iOS related videos. Visit the description below. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter as well as check my website, iOSnova.com, for up to date iOS news. Comment and thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. That's extremely appreciated. Thanks again for watching. This is iGuitarD2744.